Tanya Dixon remembers being bused out of Milwaukee's inner city to a mostly white school in fifth and sixth grades. It was good if I had to put on the scale, it would be a 10. That was back in the 1970s, part of desegregation efforts nationally. But today, three of her grandchildren, whom she's helping raise, go to a largely black charter school near her house. So they really, they work up to the kids' level, you know, and then challenge them to do better. The first question. 98% of the kids at Milwaukee Math and Science Academy are black. The latest national enrollment data reviewed by the Associated Press shows nearly 15 percent of the nation's charter schools are 99 percent black or Hispanic, compared to 5 to 7 percent of national public schools. Principal Alpera Couric says the reason they are mainly one race is because most of their students live within five miles. Uh, among the schools available, they choose us uh, by proximity or by um, word of mouth, they hear from each other, a lot of our par parents are related. School integration gains achieved over the second half of the last century have been reversed in many places over the last 20 years. The trend has been blamed on the effects of charters, the lapse of court-ordered desegregation plans in many cities, and other factors like housing and economic trends. One thing that most of them have in common is that they come from families that are low income. Former Milwaukee Public School Superintendent Howard Fuller is on the board of a Milwaukee charter school. He says charter school racial imbalances reflect deep-rooted segregation. You know, I think one of the reasons why you find charter schools that are largely one race is because they, they, they chose as their mission to try to bring a great school to communities that have not had them. So we try to teach them that approach each other with care and love and compassion and try to understand. In the AP analysis, the performance of students in charter schools varies widely, but schools that enroll 99 percent minorities, both charters and traditional public schools, on average have fewer students reaching state standards for proficiency in reading and math. One at a level zero. Principal Akurik says the school has significant room to improve test scores, but so do the neighborhood schools his students would normally be attending. He says race isn't a factor in families' decisions to take the kids there. I think the number one uh, concern is safety. Bullying is why Jermaine Lee's mom took him out of his old school to bring him here. So I had plenty of fights in that school and getting bullied. Living in a higher crime area, these kids are not untouched. Tanya Dixon's son Anthony was murdered in a robbery in September, so the school is paying special attention to his four-year-old son Devon and his cousins. They brought the kids a movie, popcorn, cookies, and a card, and they said this is for um, to have a movie night with your loved ones, and you know, if you ever need us for anything, just let us know. So yeah, they're great. A school catering to the community. Carrie Antelfinger, Associated Press, Milwaukee.